Mashiri will consider taking £100 million hit to sell Everton. According to reports, Farhad Mashiri will consider taking a hit of around £100 million to sell Everton, and he was recently approached by a consortium. The 66-year-old has previously owned shares in Arsenal. In 2016, he sold his stake to fund his takeover of Everton. It was soon announced that he had bought a 49.9% stake. He is now Everton's majority shareholder, as his stake has been increased to 90%. After a run of poor results, Rafael Benitez left Everton on Sunday. The ex-Liverpool boss is the fifth manager Mashiri has sacked. The Toffees currently sit 16th in the Premier League after 19 games. They have not fared well in the transfer market during Mashiri's tenure, despite him splashing out over £600 million on new signings. The Sun are reporting that Mashiri will consider selling Everton. It is reported that he was approached recently by a consortium of interested bidders. It is stated that the Everton owner did not reject their interest, but the consortium quickly walked away after realizing how much it would cost to revamp the club. The report adds, Everton are in grim danger of turning into a financial calamity, and Mashiri now knows that if he does decide to get out, finding someone to buy the club would be a huge problem. Everton are currently valued at around £350 million, meaning even if new owners came in, he would take a £100 million plus hit. Mashiri has invested more than £450 million in trying to create an empire. Elsewhere, Simon Jordan has named seven potential candidates to replace Benitez at Everton. They should be looking at Sean Ditch. They should be looking at Frank Lampard, Jordan said. There's no reason for David Moyes to go back to Everton unless West Ham don't give him what he's entitled to, which is more support. They should be looking at nicking Patrick Vieira off Crystal Palace if they are able to. They should be looking at Steve Cooper. Seeing the job he's doing at Nottingham Forest and the job he did at Swansea. They should be looking and saying, can we get Eric Ten Hag? Have we got that kind of ambition? They should look at Graham Potter. Can they get those sort of guys? And they should also give consideration in the conversation to Wayne Rooney. I don't think he's anywhere near ready, and I don't think his backroom staff are strong enough to be able to give him the support and guidance going into